I'm living and working in Colombia, and when I arrived here, I had some total of one friend. It's not enough. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the three experiences that I created for myself in the last month, which allowed me to make true, genuine connections with locals, starting with this. Today's my birthday, and because I didn't want to spend it all alone in Colombia, I asked a stranger from the internet, Hi Daniel, I don't want to spend my birthday alone, so I was wondering if you could cook me dinner at your house. He said yes. And you know what that means? It means, Felipe, I need you to come with me. Didn't be my cameraman. You are also my only friend here in Colombia, so I... You have a lot of friends here. No. <laughs> so excuse I used Airbnb experience to pay a local to host my birthday dinner. Welcome. So this experience about like hanging out with locals. And I'm going to tell you all about it, but first I want to show you the challenges that I set for myself to make it a little bit more spicy for your viewing pleasure. So because my family and friends couldn't be here with me tonight, they sent me a list of challenges which I have to complete throughout the night. Challenges which... Let's take a look at them. And we're on our way. Uh, hey, Philly Bay. So it turns out that Daniel's not going to be there. Is his cousin Mateo, who I might accidentally call Matthew? Yes. How are you? Good. How are you? Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. So the Airbnb experience that I found was some locals who offer a nice little cook up and some stunning views of Medellin. And I offered a little bit extra just to make the experience a little bit more special for my birthday. Whoa, this is gonna be the first shot. This is Golupa with Aguardiente. Muchas gracias, Mati. Hmm. My pleasure to have you here. Jessica. Jessica, Jessica. it's today your birthday. See? And with the ridiculous way that I had to behave that night, it's probably good that I paid them a little bit extra. That happened. Oh. Put your tongue in it and suck up. Okay. I mean, feel comfortable to do that. Okay. Maybe Does everyone else? Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. amazing. Machi. But yeah. Clean. I'm so glad that Mateo and his friends were down to earth people because things got really weird. Yeah. And then awkward might just be like this. Just like. Yeah, okay. Oh, God, I feel awkward. I don't really even think I need to tell you how much of a great time I had. I'm having a great time. We're gonna eat some Colombian food, not that Colombian food as well. Do you agree with Mateo? Felipe just spent the night pretending that I was always this weird, and I bonded with my new friend Mateo. <sighs> I love Kalba. That was a good one too. I love Kalba. Mm -hmm. Hang on, hang on. Who was honestly one of the funniest guys that you'll meet. Where is the production Turn team? Sway. When the fuck <laughs> is the production team? Gracias. <laughs> 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 Do I have anything on my face? No. <laughs> <laughs> then we rounded off the night with a little tarot card reading where the universe basically told me I was a terrible person. And sometimes when something is really big or really important or really nice, we tend to keep it for ourselves. So try not to be greedy. Oh, little. Yeah, <laughs> to be less greedy and. <laughs> You're like, wow. <laughs> Mateo. Mate, Mate, huh? Mateo. <laughs> Did you buy the Airbnb insurance? <laughs> This is a guy I met on a dating app and we happily friendzoned each other. But he taught me how to use the city's transport system and how to navigate the streets of Medellin. And we also explored some nature together and that was really cute. Let's go meet Maurizio. Hola Maurizio. We've just walked up to Paisa Poblito, which is a little sanctuary right in the middle of the city, surrounded by nature. And you walk up the hill and there's like a little replica town set up in the middle of it. Let's have a look at it. We just realized that these people who are making us breakfast have been working in this kitchen for 22 years. So this sort little of pablito up here on the hill in the middle of Medellin, really nice little experience. But the best thing about making friends with locals when you move to a new city or country is that they know their way around. 
Which leads me to the third way to make friends when you arrive in a new city. Just say yes to opportunities. I was sitting in this restaurant just minding my own business when one of the guys who worked there gave me a complimentary drink with his phone number and said come and hang out with us all after work. I took the number and I thought there's no way I'm doing that. Next minute I'm taking sneaky videos to prove that I did. Now I just frequent the bar to hang out with the guys and Andreas, the owner, takes me around on his motorbike and shows me the city. I like this idea that my boss talks about around making your own luck. He says that luck doesn't just happen, we create it. You do things to increase the odds of serendipity. Like my dream to learn Spanish got me moving to Colombia. Going out to sit at that restaurant by myself got me invited out to drinks. And actually doing it, actually accepting the offer, made me some friends to hang out with. Meeting friends wherever you are is about being open-minded and spontaneous. Doing things that don't make you feel comfortable because you know like comfort is for wimps and all that. Yeah!